Hello, beautiful people. It's Snappy Headed Black Girl. I need for you to hang around until the end of this video because I would love to hear what you have to say on this topic. Snappy Headed Black Girl. We're all here. It's good here. I wrote a blog post a while back on my website, nappyheadedblackgirl.com, called Six Tips for Dating Someone with Dreadlocks. I will link to it up here. I think it's up here. I always forget what site it is. I believe it's up here. So you can click on it if you want to read it. And recently someone left a comment. It says, for years I have always had my hair naturally low and wavy all over. But this year is definitely different for me. I chose to grow my hair out and grow dreads. So far I have it in an afro. I've been married for 15 years to my first wife and she doesn't agree with what I want to do with my hair. She stated to me that my fro looks ugly on my head. I am 41, but I don't look like it. I look like I'm still in my 30s. I'm at the point where my impressing people are over in my life. Am I wrong for going from low wavy natural hair to dreads? First, let me say I'm sorry you're going through that. It sucks anytime you're in a situation like that where someone whom you care about hates your hair or tells you that it's ugly. I, that can't feel good, so I'm sorry that you have to go through that. I'll say that first. Second thing, please know that your hair is awesome. I don't think that we think about it with guys as much, guys who have natural hair because I think it's more accepted, but sometimes you guys go through the same things that we go through when we go natural. So again, before we move on, I'm gonna say your hair is perfect. Your hair is beautiful. That's for anyone with natural hair. I am always gonna hype you guys up about your natural hair. That's what I'm here for. That is my job. Moving right along, you are a grown man and you shouldn't have to ask permission to do what you wanna do with your hair. It's just a hairstyle. Your wife should love you for what's on the inside and how your hair looks shouldn't make a difference. You shouldn't have to confirm to Eurocentric beauty ideals. If you want to grow dreads, there's nothing wrong with you growing dreads. I believe that's what I'm supposed to say. So I wanted to go ahead and put it out there, but that's not really how I feel. This is your wife, okay? This is not a woman that you're dating. This isn't your girlfriend. This isn't a fling. This is the woman who hopefully you'll be married to for the rest of your life. Her opinion matters. Her opinion is a big deal. She's your wife. You said you just started growing your hair out this year, which means that you've had a low cut for what, maybe the whole entire rest of your marriage? So this is a big change, you know what I'm saying? The thing about her hating your fro, I'm assuming you're black because you said you have an afro and I kind of get that, it sucks, but a lot of black women feel that way. They prefer low cuts. And of course, this is a general statement. Of course, I'm not speaking for every black woman in the world, but I have found that it's a thing with us. And I think it has to do with looking presentable. Um, I could do an entire video series on that. <laughs> and perhaps I will address it at another time. So I kind of see where she's coming from with that. It's hard to break, you know what I mean? It can be a big adjustment going from low hair to dreads. It's a big change. <laughs> it sounds like you've already decided to go through with it um, because your letter says that you chose to grow your hair out and grow dreads. And I'm sure she's been noticing that you're growing your hair out. I'm sure you've had a conversation about it already. And you also said, well, I'm assuming you meant to say that, you know, you're over the stage where you have to impress people in your life. And I get that. I've been in that stage with you for a very long time. <laughs> but again, your wife is not people. She's your wife. So your question is, are you wrong for wanting to grow your hair? No, of course not. I would never say that. But do I think it's wrong of you not to consider your wife's feelings? Absolutely. I would say that to a woman also. If your wife were the one wanting to grow dreads, I would say the same thing to her. I don't know what to tell you on this one, whether you should still do it or not. I will say that if she's not digging your fro right now, she may not, she may not appreciate your dress too much in the beginning either. <laughs> so I don't know if you know anything about the dread process. It can be a little crazy when you first start until it starts to settle. 
A lot of people don't like them when they're short and nappy. That's another thing that I could make an entire video about. Uh, once your hair is longer, then a lot of things are forgiven. But in the beginning, it's not always appreciated the way that it should be. You've already started the first part, growing your hair out. Maybe see if your wife is okay with just trying it for six months or a year. I was really gonna say a year because it takes time for your hair to, you know, for your dress to settle. Anything can happen in six months. <laughs> so I was gonna say a year, but she might not be so open to that. But see if she's willing to give it, you know, some time. And who knows, maybe once you actually start the dread process, I'm not sure if you're gonna be, you know, twisting or palm rolling or what. I don't know how you're gonna start them. But maybe once you start them, she'll get on board with it. Cause you never really know how they're gonna look until you have them. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna ask you guys, my viewers now, what your opinion is. If you've been in this position, let me know how you handled it and how it turned out. I'm dying to know. Thanks for commenting though. I always love to hear from you guys. If anyone ever has a question for me or a suggestion, you can always find me at nappyheadedblackgirl at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.